Hi, today we're going to talk about American slang for money, cash money. <laughs> I'm going to show you the many different slang words for American money. They're so common in the TV shows and movies and writing you might uh, read. A dollar can also be called a buck. So here's one buck. Look, it's George Washington, the first president of America on there. And then five dollars is five bucks. And ten dollars is ten bucks. And twenty dollars is twenty bucks. And the most important one of all, this one right here. The hundred dollar bill, also known as a hundo or a Benjamin or Benji's. And why is that? Well, on the face of this $100 bill is Benjamin Franklin. He was one of the great statesmen in the original American colonies and then when America became a separate country. Now, oftentimes money is referred to as dead presidents because most of these bills have a former American president on the face of the bill. The only one that doesn't is the hundo, the Benjamin, because it has Benjamin Franklin. He was honored by being put on the $100 bill. Even though he wasn't president, uh, he edited part of the Declaration of Independence, and he was an ambassador to France and one of the great thinkers in early American um, history. So you've got Benjamin, hundos, Benjis, dead presidents, all about American money. There's some other slang terms you hear. When someone's made some money, they might say, ka-ching, ka-ching, and often <laughs> do this, ka-ching. Ka-ching is the sound that a cash register makes when it opens. There's an, a bell in the old-fashioned cash registers. So if you have made a sale of something or been successful in business, you might say, my business is going ka-ching, or that word ka-ching, meaning I made money. <laughs> bling, bling. What do, uh, what do hundos buy? You see some uh, performing artists, especially from the hip-hop and rap community, they wear uh, gold chains or platinum chains or fancy wristwatches or rings made of gold. It's part of that style of music to talk about money and what money buys. So in those, some of those videos, you see the performers flashing a lot of Benjamins and then the rings and chains and watches they wear are all called bling bling. Right? It rhymes with ring and it describes uh, all of that kind of fancy jewelry people wear. And lastly, you know what a millionaire is? That's someone who has a million bucks. A billionaire has a billion bucks. But there are other words that are slang used to describe somebody who has a lot of money or a huge number. These are not real numbers, but gajillion or bazillion. You might hear uh, Mark Zuckerberg founded Facebook He's become a bazillionaire. My friend Tommy uh, invented some software and sold it. He's become a gajillionaire. That means someone who's been really successful so they have a lot of money. Almost too much money to count. There's no real such number as gajillion or bazillion. But you might hear that phrase used to describe an enormous amount. I've got a bazillion things to do. I got a gajillion things to do, you might also hear. So all this slang about money and numbers is common in modern American slang. You might uh, hear it in the movies and or descriptions of people or in TV shows. Uh, I've listed all these terms below. These are expressions you could use in conversation with your friends or your colleagues, coworkers at work. You, usually would not use these in a formal interview or a formal meeting. They're informal slang. All of these are clean words you can say in front of your grandma, uh, but they're so common you should know them. And I hope that you get a bazillion dollars and have lots of dead presidents. Hmm, there, sorry. On uh, lots of hundos, Benjis, Benjamins <laughs> in your life. <laughs> Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe and you can follow this series that I've done about modern American English. Thanks. <laughs> it's all about the Benjamins. <laughs>